Maybe Walt wants to die like a man, all right? I don't want him to die at all! That's the whole point of this! So either help or leave! Skylar, I just wanted to do you the courtesy of giving you my honest opinion. You know, Marie, this is not debate club. This is my husband's life you know, we're talking I about here. Yes. This is my Simple husband's life we're talking about here. And thing. it's like, Ladies, come on. You, how dare the you? Ladies, you can't ladies. somebody who disagrees with you. Ladies. Ladies. This is so stupid. All right, I've got the talking pillow now. Okay. That we all in this room, we love each other. We want what's best for each other, and I know that. I am very thankful for that. But, what I want, what I want, what I need, is a choice. What does that mean? Sometimes I feel like I never actually make any of my own choices, I mean. My entire life, it just seems I never, you know, had a, had a real say about any of it. And this last one, cancer. All I have left is how I choose to approach this. Well, then make the right choice, Walt. You're not the only one it affects. What about your son? Don't you want to see your daughter grow up? I just... Of course I do. Skylar, you've read the statistics. You... These doctors are talking about surviving one year, two years, like it's the only thing that matters. But what good is it to just survive if I am too sick to work, to enjoy a meal, to make love? For what time I have left, I want to live in my own house. I want to sleep in my own bed. I don't want to choke down 30 or 40 pills every single day and lose my hair and lie around too tired to get up and so nauseated that I can't even move my head. You? Cleaning up after me. And me, what a... Some, uh... Some dead man, some artificially alive. Just marking time. No, no. And that's how you would remember me. That's the worst part. So, that is my thought process, Skyler. I'm sorry. I just... I choose not to do it. <laughs> 